Greetings Earthlings, I'm about three miles into the state of Washington. Just crossed over the Bridge of the Gods earlier. Bridge of the Gods spans the Columbia River, which marks the border between Oregon and Washington. Really iconic landmark if you're a PCT hiker. Fantastic to be there, great to walk across it. Great to walk across the lattice looking down. There's no pedestrian uh, area, so you're just on there with the cars. It's a big wide river. Great. In Washington, out of Oregon. Oregon was amazing. So good, so unexpected. But now, 500 miles to go. 500 miles to Canada. Can't believe it. Feeling pretty good. Next stop is Trout Lake in, th Trout Lake in three and a half days. Uh, four days of food. On my own at the moment, I've split up from everyone. They're all ahead or behind or... Um. All right, let's see what happens. I'm gonna take you with me. 500 miles more. Greetings Earthlings, I'm here with fuel, we've been hiking on and off like the past month or so. What do you think of these woods uh, fuel? Crazy, crazy woods, crazy energy, just leave me here. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty amazing isn't it, there's a lot of water around, a lot of moss, it's completely yep. different all of a sudden, as soon as you get over the bridge. Yeah, it's, it's, way, it's crazy how it's just right over the bridge. Yeah. It's just almost exactly over the bridge, it just goes. Just Someone, uh, changes pulls a heart. Switch. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. So, how much are you going to do today? 20. 20. Me, 20 as well. 25 perhaps. So, depending on the terrain. All right. Let's get to it. Yep.
my greetings Earthlings. It's the 17th of August. It's about 9am, about five miles in, six miles into the day. And I've just come a lot, come across uh, Lapsang. Where are you from, Lapsang? I'm from Aberdeen, Scotland. And you recognise me from the channel? I do indeed. And shouted down the trail, hello. Yes, <laughs> I thought, hellfire, it's Lord Keish. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're doing something different. Um, you're hiking sober, what does that mean? So for me, I started at Hearts Pass. I hiked 30 miles north the Canadian border, touched it, came back. I was with my daughter for the first six days. Oh, wow. And uh, yeah, first time she trekked on snow, so she right, right. she was not a happy bunny after six <laughs> days. Uh, she flew back to the UK to start a job in Italy. But um, yeah, it was fantastic to hike with my daughter, but the snow conditions initially in the north were quite severe and there'd been a bunch up of Sobo, some had waited almost a month to get through Rocks right, yeah. Pass and only those with either good mountaineering experience and equipment got through but they were absolutely wrecked and then a whole bunch of us went through in a in a wedge. Right, okay. So but, how long did you wait do you think? Uh, for me I went on the day I was my cool. permit so I, I went on the 13th. Because us uh, northbounds we started noticing Sobo's appearing down the trail you know so they've been skipping down and yeah because the conditions are so bad so ashland cascade locks that sort of thing yeah yeah it's very di it was very difficult and uh, cutthroat pass was interesting and possibly the um most interesting was fire creek it got about two three meters of snow more than it had to so mica lake there was no campground right and so uh, i had to camp on the pinnacle ah, at, um, okay yeah uh, which you can only get on the pinnacle when it's snowy right um, but it was it, huh, it was very good. yeah yeah uh, but uh, yeah been some great uh, met some great people literally hundreds of nobos because they're skipping forward yeah, because of the it's fires been like, um, um, I was talking to um, uh, Nadi uh, Nicole and Ballsack so. yes <laughs> and she the way she put it was like the PCT's glitched yes so the fires down at Syed Valley and Crater Lake just made everybody just skip and almost miss Oregon so yes so I'm behind the bubble now I think yeah so you were, I would say so where I, before I was like I was maybe at the start of it so yeah yeah the whole PCT's glitched out of me and uh, it's and, not a bad thing because the campsites and all the resources completely sucked up yeah so I mean uh, you're going into campsites and the the Nobo bubble hit the uh, uh, the Sobo bubble and it just oh, and just yeah. and then there was nothing left. Right, right. So you'd get there, and and the thing was, the nobos would be coming in at eight o'clock and setting up because they were doing the you know fourteen, fifteen hour days. <laughs> so all the sobos were just getting you there early, uh, setting okay, up, yeah. so we could yeah because we're we still can, conditioning, still yeah. conditioning yourselves. Yeah. So what what you um obviously you're going to go all the way. Yeah, the yeah. plan is to get there sort of mid December. Right. Wow. Wow. Yeah. When so, does it, when does it snow in the desert? Uh, I'm about to find out. I've got uh, really. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've got to get over uh, San Jacinto. Yeah. Um, so I've got to do a little bit of planning there, um, but I'll find out. Yeah, because but, that, but that there's, there's no of, predicting uh, the weather, is there? No, it's. I mean, I was supposed to be coming through snow starting March 18th, um, yeah. and we did get snow, but it wasn't anywhere near as I thought it was going to have to be. You know, I thought I'd be hiking miles through it. It was yeah. just on the passes, so and that was a March 18th start. So. Yeah, and then there was, like I say, they all got trapped up there in the snow. So yeah. yes, it's yeah. it's just a uh, it's it's it's. Uh, don't get me wrong, it is fantastic to see everything in snow and the big mountains, like Rainier, Adams, even Mount St Helens has got a little bit of snow on it. Looks fantastic, and you're going through the passes. I mean, you come out of Hearts, you go south out of Hearts Pass, and you're just confronted by these massive yeah. peaks covered in. You go, how the uh, hell yeah. am I going to get yeah, through yeah. that? So uh, it's 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 amazing to just actually find your way through. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. Uh, the only thing wrong is the mozzies because of the late season. Yeah. The mozzies hatched uh, as soon as the snow melted. So there are patches, and yeah. you know the same where there's lakes and ponds. Yeah. But also as soon as on the high altitude, as soon as the snow melts, it's quite pernicious oh God. being out there no but it, most of them will have gone most of the first hatch will have gone by the time you get well, all there. the comments for, up the trail this far said oh mosquitoes are hell and that was two weeks ago but no i mean i've had i've had a little spell this morning of it being bad but there's it's been okay the, so i might miss it yeah there's oh, a God, few patches where there's just lakes and and, and ponds thousands literally thousands of them they're just big mosquito yeah, breeding yeah. grounds <laughs> so i think uh the, the the hope is that you guys go through and the first hatch is over and, and they're not quite as bad. 
So, All right. Uh, Good stuff. Well, it's nice to meet you. And you, yeah, yeah, really, yeah. really. Uh, I, I was preparing an elaborate speech around, well met, my Lord Quiche, but <laughs> the, but then you just appeared anyway and completely threw like, me. All right. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. So 15-ish miles to Trout Lake now. Yes. Um, that's the whole objective of today, I guess. Yeah, very easy to get a hitch in and there's scheduled, uh, scheduled runs every two hours. Good food. Um, it's, think of the calories. Yeah, calories. That's what I need. <laughs> yeah, think of the calories and beer and uh, whatever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a good, it's well set up town. Well All set right. up town. Thanks, Lap Song. Good to meet you. Cheers. Greetings, Earthlings. It's 18th of August. It's about half nine in the morning. I'm a mile up the trail. Uh, I've just had a lift from Trout Lake by John. Thank you, John. I got up early. I was going to get on the road and hitch, but right where you hitch is a diner. So, uh, I was in there for bacon and eggs and unlimited coffee. Uh, today, I am heading to the Goat Rocks Wilderness. It's supposed to be amazing. It's supposed to be one of the highlights of the trail. <laughs> one of the many highlights of the trail, I guess. But yeah, everyone talks about Goat Rocks as if, uh, you know, it's something special. So we're at the foot of Mount Adams at the moment. I'll get some good video of that for you. Great mountain, really amazing sight. You can see it from wherever you are in Trout Lake. Trout Lake is a brilliant stop, tiny little town. Nice store, nice tackle truck, nice diner. People who just shuttle in hikers in and out of town. Good stuff. Uh, so white pass in two days two and a half to three days less than 420 miles to go we'll keep filming i'll take you with me
morning earthlings. It's the 19th of August. It is about half past nine, so I've done about six or seven miles so far. Got a little bit of light rain, it's really nice, cooling things down. I'll just show you the rain on the, this pond here. So last night I camped at Lava Springs, which is a really amazing spot. There's a fast flowing spring that emerges from the lava field there. I couldn't film it because the light was too low. Um, I was filling up my water there and a southbound hiker turned up, a Sobo. He started filling up his water, we started chatting. He said, what's your name? I said, Sparkle Lizard. He said, oh, no way. I've been looking for you. Uh, apparently like four or five days ago, he'd been talking to Lara Amata. He'd been watching his channel, you know, I hiked with them extensively at the start of the trail. Um, and they said, if you see Sparkle Lizard, time to catch up, I know we miss him. And I was really, really chuffed, it really made my evening to get a little uh, message like that passed down the trail. And it was amazing really that uh, we bumped into each other because normally, I mean, you just pass each other on the trail and say hello. He probably sees like multiple northbounders a day. Um, so that's great, so shout out to Squirrelly Pete. Nice to meet you, he came up and camped with me and we had a hot chocolate. Good chat, uh, and shout out to Lara and Marta, who now probably aren't far from the monument, they've probably almost finished. Oh, I'd love to have hiked with them uh, the whole trail really, because they were such good company and were very kind to me. So, shout out to you two. So pleased for you uh, while you're getting on up there. Alright, so. Mm. I'm not sure how far I've got to White Pass. We're going to try and get another uh, 20 in today. Uh, below 400 miles to go now, so probably sitting at about 390 to go. Whew. All right. Well, I'll, I'll just tell you actually, have a little check in. Just warning lights going off in the cockpit everywhere. <laughs> Feet, knees, hips, starting to get tired now. Starting to feel it. I feel really good mentally, um, so I'm just looking after myself, stretching, eating. Not far now though, we'll get there. It's good times. <laughs> <laughs> 